Hello everybody and welcome to the weekly look at the best-selling light novels in Japan, this covering September 11th to the 17th of 2023. Uh, list isn't quite as exciting today because two titles take up four spots and, uh, well, you'll be able to figure that out as we go. So, let's get to it. At number 10, with 2,116 copies sold, we've got Boogie Pop is Cursed. Do you think you're cursed? Ah, uh, unfortunately, that's the case. Everyone is bound by the world's decree to live under various irrational and unreasonable pressures. There are no exceptions. The girl who always speaks ill of others, the boy who pretends to be evil, even me, Boogie Pop, of course. At the Prefectural Shinyu Academy, there's a strange rumor circulating that this school is cursed. The bottomless anxiety and frustration lurking among the students are exposed, turning into darkness. The overwhelming curse that neutralizes both the Towa organization and the Witch of Flames is complete. What remains in the end is either the distorted transcendent being or the modest feelings of the children. When the death god Boogie Pop disappears into the whirlpool of chaos and indifference, the shadow of the girl bears its fangs at everything. At number 9, with 2,164 copies sold, The Villainous's Guide to Not Falling in Love, Volume Number 6. In my past life, I was an unpopular woman nearing her 30s. However, when I died, I got reincarnated in a dating sim as the villainess, Luciana. At this rate, I'll face a hopeless future of exile in a punishment event. And that's bad. I'm going to do my best to avoid all the romantic interests in the game and live a peaceful new life so that I can escape that event. But why are they all approaching me? I want to stay low key, but the people around me just won't leave me alone. At number 8 with 2,344 copies sold, Argonaut sequel, Hero's Fate, Is It Wrong to Try to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon Heroic Tale? The story of the hero Argonaut, rooted in Bell Cronell, is now in book form. What unfolds is the trajectory of a single man, deceived by people, used by the king, and swayed by the schemes of many. It's a ludicrous tale. Borrowing the wisdom of friends, receiving weapons from spirits, and inadvertently rescuing the princess. It's a top-notch comedy, a farce where the clown dances and sings freely. From a fool to a jester, from a jester to the world, from the world to the future. Just as justice revolves, so too does the myth. Behold, gods, I am the hero of the beginning. Therefore, indeed, this must be the heroic tale of a clown. A story taken from the Donmachi video game Memoria Freeze of a previous incarnation of Belle Cornell. At number 7, with 2,444 copies sold, the failed second son is doted on by the cold-hearted Duke. Jill Sharman, the second son of a Viscount family, is actually a reincarnated individual with memories of his previous life. He manages the household finances in place of the lazy servants. One day, his sister unilaterally breaks off her engagement with the Dalton Duke's family and gets engaged to the country's first prince. Due to the one-sided termination of the engagement, the Duke's family demands pay a breach of contract fee or provide a competent individual skilled in arithmetic. Despite being treated as a failure and neglected, Jill is ordered by his father to go to the Duke's house. Thus, Jill is sold to the competent but rumored to be cold-hearted Rhea Dalton, the Duke. At number 6, with 2,548 copies sold, Thousand Autumns, Volume 1. Shen Kiao, the leader of the world-renowned Taoist sect Zhuandu Mountain is defeated in a battle against Kun Ye, the strongest man of the Tuju. 
and is left critically injured. By chance, he is rescued by Yan Wuxi, who intends to draw Shen Kao into the demonic sect Huan Yue Sect, which Yan Wuxi leads. When Shen Kao regounds, regains consciousness, he has lost his sight, memory, and even his position as the leader. Despite refusing Yan Wuxi's invitation, he embarks on a journey to rediscover his past. However, due to his stunning appearance and exceptional martial arts skills, he is pursued by members of the demonic sect and almost becomes the male concubine of a wicked prince, facing continuous trials. Yan Wuxi reappears. Shen Kiao learns that his defeat by Kun Ye was due to his betrayal by his comrades for, by, from Zhuandu Mountain. Having lost his place to return, Shen Kiao decides to travel with Yan Wuxi. The whimsical Yan Wuxi sometimes coldly pushes the weakened Shen Kiao away, but at other times he takes care of him so attentively that onlookers misunderstand their relationship. As Shen Kiao continues the journey without understanding Yang Wuxi's intentions, he is presented with the Shanghe Tongbei sword by Yan Wuxi, a sword he supposedly lost during his battle with Kun Ye. At number 5, Is It Wrong to Try to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon? Volume 19, Special Edition with Drama CD. In Aurorio, fearless adventurers band together to search of fame and fortune within the monstrous underground labyrinth known as Dungeon. But while riches and renown are incentive enough for most, Belle Cronell, would-be hero extraordinaire, has bigger plans. He wants to pick up girls. Is it wrong to face the perils of dungeons alone in a single-member guild blessed by a failed goddess? Maybe. Is it wrong to dream of playing hero to helpless maidens in dungeon? Maybe not. After one misguided adventure, Belle quickly discovers that anything can happen in the labyrinth, even chance encounters with beautiful women. The only problem? He's the one who winds up the damsel in distress. At number 4, with 5,342 copies sold, Alia Sometimes Hides Her Feelings in Russian, Volume 7. Masachika Kuse sits next to Alia, a girl of Russian and Japanese descent. She's beautiful, haughty, and an exceptional student. Well, Masachika is nerdy and known for being a slacker. He's an easy target for her comments in Russian, which she's all too happy to translate. Except... He can understand what she's really saying. At number 3, with 11,571 copies sold, The Angel Next Door Spoils Me Rotten, Volume 8.5. And this one includes a special booklet with an original story and illustration gallery. A Heavenly Encounter Mahiru is a beautiful girl whose classmates all call an angel. Not only is she a star athlete with perfect grades, she's also drop-dead gorgeous. Amane, an average guy and self-admitted slob, has never thought much of the divine beauty, despite attending the same school. Everything changes, however, when he happens to see Mahiru sitting alone in a park during a rainstorm. Thus begins the strange relationship between this incredibly unlikely pair. At number 2, with 11,702 copies sold, The Angel Next Door Spoils Me Rotten, Volume 8.5, the regular edition of 8.5. And then finally at number 1, with 30,529 copies sold, the regular edition of Is It Wrong to Try to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon, Volume Number 19. So those are your top 10 best-selling light novels in Japan for the week of September 11th to the 17th of 2023. Uh, obviously, Angel Next Door and Don Machi absolutely obliterating the sales charts, both with their special and regular editions. I mean, Don Machi, over 30,000 copies just of the regular edition. Like, man, and it's volume 19. I, that series just not slowing down at all. Anyway... 
those are your top 10 for this week. I'll be back here next week to see what's the best selling light novels then. Until then, make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up to let YouTube know that you like it. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Till then, bye bye for now.